We have been working for the last 10 years to improve the management of coffee berry borer here in Hawaii and in other places around the world, but especially focused in Hawaii and Puerto Rico. We're today here in a beautiful coffee field in Kona trying to work on our app, which is a new application that farmers will be able to use on their phones to monitor coffee berry borer, to monitor coffee leaf rust, which is a new plant disease that has just arrived here in the state, and to improve the quality of their coffee. So this app, the goal is to provide decision support and guidance to the grower to produce the best possible coffee. So the app has gotten as far as it has on our base funding and on area-wide funding that came from USDA. And that's been fantastic for developing it to the point where we can do monitoring. But we really need to integrate the sensor data, and that's where we're working with Vincent. That requires more capital investment. I think microclimate is so different in Hawaii, and we really are just starting to try to understand coffee leaf rust and its biology mm -hmm. and how it spreads from farm to farm what are the environmental conditions that are optimal for its germination mm -hmm. and they seem to vary from farm to farm and although coffee leaf rust has been in a lot of countries for many many years and a lot of research has been done on it we're kind of in a new situation here because Hawaii is so different from any other coffee growing region so we need to get all of that baseline biological information collected first before we can start to understand how to manage it. And how do you obtain that initially? By observing, right? Follow, collect data for you for a couple of years, two, three years. If folks are using the app to monitor and manage their CLR, if that could also provide some of the data that we need on a wider scale and accelerate the speed at which we're able to find solutions. Certainly, because at our capacity now, we can visit maybe a dozen farms, but that's not nearly enough farms to be able to get detailed environmental information. So the more growers that would be willing to adopt the app, the quicker we're gonna get the kinds of data that we need right. to be able to manage this disease properly. The app is supposed to really be a one-stop shop for helping the growers produce the highest quality coffee. So what we need to do is we need to integrate information on plant health, and be able to feed that to the growers on how to make sure that their plants are as strong as they can be, that the soil is in good shape, that they're using a minimal number of pesticides and chemicals and inputs so that their operation remains economically viable. Another thing I want to say is that we are not in the business of maintaining apps long term. And that's something that's really important for us is that this app be a tool that growers can rely on into the future. And this is where private partners, industry partners like Vincent Kimura and Smart Yields are absolutely critical because they will be able to iterate and refine and enable them to continue to be available in the marketplace in the future.